Quick shout out to my Patreons who keep this channel going. You can join my Patreon down in the description below. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're interacting to the 26th episode of World Trigger. This one's titled Fierce Fight, uh, Enadora vs. Kazuma Squad. So yeah, we kind of set this up with the last episode uh, that we just uh, we just watched. Um, we're getting ready to use um, the one guy's side effect. What was his name? I, I forget some of these uh, characters' names. We've got such a huge goddamn cast, I forget some of their names. Um, emotionless guy, what the hell was his name? Um, Shiro? Uh, Kakuchihara? I think that's him. That looks like him. I think it was him. Uh, but his side effect is uh, something to do with his hearing. Uh, and so we're going to be utilizing that by connecting to his hearing in some way, and that, that's apparently possible. Um, so that seems to be useful in our fight against Enodora. At least I think that's what's going to happen. I guess we'll see. Um, but I'm guessing that's where the main focus of this episode will be. And then in uh, future episodes, maybe maybe this is the main fight, but we'll also have other fights going on. Or we'll spend the entire episode on this fight and then move on to the next fight, because we've got four humanoid neighbors here. Um, two of them are paired up against uh, Tamakoma's A, uh, A team here, uh, and then the other one is just fighting off against B ranks. We don't really have an actual defense against him yet. Probably ends up being like Jin or Amo or someone, um, if I had to guess, but I guess we'll see. Uh, maybe they'll need to come in and help Kazuma squad as well. I don't know if an A rank squad will necessarily be able to take on one neighbor like this. It's kind of curious. I'm curious to see how the power level balance here, because... Um, this is also the Black Trigger Neighbor. So this is the one with the, the Darker Horns, and therefore is equivalent of a Black Trigger Wielder. So I don't know if an a rank squad of three will necessarily be able to take on that. But I guess we'll see. It'll be an interesting uh, power scale thing here. So, yeah, I'm just going to shut up. We're going to get into the episode because uh, I'm excited. This, this arc of World Trigger has been very, very good. This is probably my favorite part of World Trigger so far. And, like, visually, and, like, idea-wise, with, like, the unique triggers and stuff for Tamakoma, since they're based on neighbor triggers and are specialized for them. Uh, the, that one, um, I think it's Hyrus? 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 Something like that. I forget how to say his name. With his, like, whatever these are, tendril things that can come out and reflect bullets. Like, that's really fucking cool. And it looks really good for 2015 as well. Like, it looks great. And then you see CG and other productions, you're like, how they mess this up? <laughs> but anyway, um, it's really, really, really cool. So uh, I'm excited for what's to come. So as per usual, these are time-based for my reactions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full Patreon picture, you can go to my Patreon down description below. Four pounds a month gets you access to all Patreon picture reactions I do on the channel, which is everything from the current uh, seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows such as World Trigger here. Uh, we also have movie reactions with Wever Weathering With You, the movie, uh, just recently coming out. So you can go check that one out on Patreon as well. Um... Beginning of the month, for the first week of the month, we also do a poll to vote on which movie I watched that month, so uh, stick around. Uh, I would recommend waiting on Patreon until the first of the month, because you are billed as soon as you join, as well as first of the month. So it's better just to wait a couple of days, join the Patreon, then you get a full month to decide whether you want to continue it, or if you're just for a certain show, get your money's worth and then back out. Totally understandable. I know a lot of people who would do that, and I personally would do the same uh, if uh, I had that option, so... I, I totally understand it. Um, but yeah, uh, here on YouTube, we do tire base. So, bottom left of the screen, you'll see a time for the episode. I can down free to one play. Now, on play, you start the episode. I start the episode, and we should be in sync. We are watching this one on uh, Crunchyroll, as usual, since they are the ones who licensed it. Uh, we have the Toei animation logos to start, so about 15 seconds of logos. I'll call them out as I go past, being able to use screen flash on my face, the mic, or this part of my headset to tell when the scenes are transitioning. So, we've got a bunch of recaps as well in all this, I believe, because it's World Trigger. Of course, we have recaps. Let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In three, two, one, play. Toy animation. Cheers. Here we go. Recap time. Indeed they are, because they can't bail out. Mm-hmm. 
then the humanoid neighbors. That's still fucking cool. You don't really need this recap, but they still insist on doing it, I guess. Fierce fight, uh, and the Dora versus Cosmo Squad. Alright, bringing the humanoid neighbors in. I love his attitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn hair up. Okay, backstory. Enhanced hearing, okay. It's as simple as that. Okay. Physical attributes will come on the B, enhanced, okay. Interesting. I mean that it would be very good as a spy um ability. Okay. So it's not super good. A limit to it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> so one way to introduce yourself. Hmm. Uh...
Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, the heavy is in there, but mm -hmm. okay. Okay. But he could... Yep. Hence why they rose so much. They have the perfect counter to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, uh, yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. He's irritated. <laughs> okay, you're going to overload them with sound so they can't tell which one it actually is? That's a good idea. He distinguished them nice. Okay. So there is more of it than just being, oh, I can hear things better. Yes, yeah, that distinguishing capability. That's cool. Fucking awesome. Ah, he's irritated. <laughs> Oh shit. His entire body. We saw that with his leg when he first launched them. Hmm. Whoa. 
What? What are you there? What did we do? Hmm. How did he... How? How did we manage that? We don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Somewhere, but that's a big if. Mm-hmm. Love the heart. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shoot him in the heart or the brain, they're dead, so mm -hmm. <laughs> right, yes. Well, dig a bit, but... Hello, new types. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fighting one is too much for you, honestly. It is a good just good to distract three of them against one lone unit, but <laughs> love it mm hmm <laughs> I 
I mean, Cuba got one, yep. Huh. Okay. Oh, how even in this is a ranking for who did it. Gotta love it. That sounds like a good idea. Right. <laughs> okay. I mean, we did just say go to replace them, but. Right. Mm-hmm. They figured their plan out. Yep. And they think of Chica as potential as a new god, which is interesting. <laughs> he wants to win so badly. Yep. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, West Side's already done. <laughs> yeah. Now <Ammo's> just... <laughs> uh, I hope we get more with ammo in the future as well. Oh, okay. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Yes. But. Hmm. What's even worse than that? Oh shit. Oh shit. I mean, they did say they had to protect Osamu, right? So... Hmm... Mm-hmm. Yep. Making them like cyborgs. Mm hmm. Yep. 
Yes. That's dangerous thinking. Oh. There's downside to it. <laughs> oh, trust you, but to find something like that. We're going to listen to this new OPED thing, whatever it is. Technically, this came up in episode 24, but we skipped it because I wasn't expecting it. Um, and then last episode was the first time I actually bothered to watch it, but I'm going to watch it again. I actually quite like this song. It's much more subdued and chill, which makes it really good as an ED song. I'm still kind of confused why they never bothered with an ED at the, at the very beginning of this show. It's just kind of odd. All right. Oh, this is getting good. These episodes are going by really damn quickly. Like, really damn quickly. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I'm actually watching these um, twice a week. Because if I was doing this weekly, this series would be unbearable. Because <laughs> it'd be like so much good stuff, but they're gone so quickly. Uh, this arc has really, really stepped up uh, World Trigger. Like, I was enjoying World Trigger right from the off. Don't get me wrong. But it was kind of like, okay, it was settling down for a bit. This arc has completely changed it. And we've got so, so, so much cool stuff happening in this arc. It's, it's brilliant. I have no idea how long this arc's going to go on for, though. Like, is this going to be the main arc for... Is there going to be another arc before the split? Because when does the, time, uh, the filler arc start? It's like episode 50-something, right? Where was that? Um... Episode 48 is the last one. Okay, so we're over halfway through. I don't think this arc continues all the way up until 48. So there's probably another arc after this, before the filler. I hope they don't stop halfway through an arc, then hit filler, then continue. That would kind of suck. Although there's not many episodes after the filler either. Looking at it, is there? There's like nine episodes? Or ten? Nine, ten? Something like that? Episode 64 is 73. Are uh, actual episodes. Interesting. So yeah, it's 10 episodes after. Yeah, 10 episodes after that. Okay. But yeah, this is. Oh, I'm loving this. Kazuma got. We still haven't figured out what. We haven't figured out what exactly his skill was there that allowed him to defeat Kazuma that way. He seemed to have. He seemed to erupt from inside him. I don't quite know how that was possible. Maybe there was a the little frame in the animation where you could see what exactly happened, but I really don't see how he could have been defeated that way. But once we figure that out, I feel like we then know exactly how to deal with him. But we're just going to keep him... We're just going to keep him doing absolutely nothing right now. Trying to ignore him as best we can until he starts threatening something we can't afford to ignore. And then we'll turn to deal with him. We'll probably leave it as long as possible and then maybe bring Amo over or Jin to deal with it. If I had to guess. Although Jin is now working with Yuma to go protect Asamu because worst possible outcome, Asamu could die here. Hmm... Huh. Could be a problem. Could be a very, very big problem. I guess we'll see what ends up happening. Um, it's going to see what um, 
uh, uh, Endora, it'd be interesting to see where they go now that they're kind of being ignored. What will they do? Because their their job is really to just distract to allow the rabbits to take the C rank agents. So I guess go find more B ranks and A ranks that they can mess with, but they'll be under orders to retreat rather than engage, so he'll constantly be just chasing nothing. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Anyway, I'm loving this. I'm really, really enjoying this series, like a lot. And this arc especially has really, really brought that excitement up so much more. Uh, I'm I'm very excited to see where this goes. I wish I could watch more. Uh, I, in theory, could, but uh, I, I will burn myself out if I keep watching more. So thank you everyone for watching. hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments what you thought of the episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Spring 2021 I can find here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.